بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ اسلامک ورسپ ریچول دا مس کنسیپشن لائک ٹو برنگ ان ٹو ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ٹو لیٹ ٹو میکنگ واؤز آف ورشپ ان دس ریگارڈ وی نو دیٹ وی ہیو ایکسپیرینس لاٹ آف واؤز وچ وی فائن ان ہسٹری وی فائن پیپل میکنگ واؤز آف ورشپ فار ایگزامپل دے وڈ امپوز دس کنڈیشن وائل پرنگ ٹو دی آل مائٹی دیٹ ایف وی فلفلز سچ اینڈ سچ ڈیزائر آف دیئر دن دے شیل ایز اے مینس آف تھینکس گیونگ ایز این ایکٹ آف تھینکس گیونگ دے وڈ فار ایگزامپل اسپینڈ سچ سچ لاٹ آف منی فار آن دا پور اور دے ول فاسٹ ایز پرٹیکٹر نمبر آف فاسٹ اور دے ول پرے پرٹیکٹر نمبر آف رکٹس آف نفل پرے سو پیپل جنرلی ٹین ٹو ٹو میک دس دس تھینکس گیونگ دا نیچر آف دس تھینکس گیونگ کنڈیشنل ٹو دا ڈیزائر ایف اٹ از فلفلڈ بائی دی آل مائٹی Uh, it needs to be understood that um, although this uh, custom existed also in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and it has uh, ever since continued, although it has diminished in its, uh, in its uh, import, yet it still exists. However, we find the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he never undertook such vows of worship, nor did he encourage other people to do so. And we also find that none of his companions uh, did so. Uh, instead, when he saw some people making these vows of worship, he actually discouraged them and he actually forbade them uh, because, of course, this is something uh, which makes the whole act of worship to be a me- mechanical act of worship. Uh, if you want to thank the Almighty, uh, then the best way to thank the Almighty when one's desire gets fulfilled is that but whatever our feelings of thanksgiving lead us to at that particular time when, our, when, when a certain wish of ours is fulfilled, then we should do that, that particular thing. For example, if our desire is fulfilled and at, at that particular uh, instant we feel that we would like to fast for a couple of days or we would like to spend a particular amount of money, it should be spontaneous at that time. It should not be made preconditional to the achievement of that target. It should be uh, something which naturally flows out of us as a natural expression of our emotions of gratitude to the Almighty. Thus, for example, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is reported to have said uh, in, in negation of, these, of making these vows, and this is found in Bukhari and uh, is reported by Abdullah ibn Umar ta'ala anhu from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and the words are la tunziru fa inna nazra la yughni min al-qadr shayya, which means that do not make these vows because these vows uh, will not make the fate change, it will not change the fate. Uh, in other words, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu of course, is trying to, uh, t- to advise people and trying to convince them that this is something which is very unbecoming and not an appropriate form of worship. Uh, so, um, as far as this, these vows are concerned, then this much should remain clear. However, it also needs to be understood that if uh, a person makes such a vow, uh, then, of course, if he, have, uh, if he breaks that vow, then it will be equivalent to breaking an oath. So, the atonement of breaking an oath will, be, will have to be applied in that case. Also, Uh, one must, must be very sure about this, one must be pretty clear about it, that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is also forbidden uh, that we make vows which are, which actually uh, entail uh, disobedience of the Almighty or even vows which, uh, uh, which of course uh, uh, make us uh, uh, undergo certain, uh, th- certain routines which are ap- very exacting for us, which, we, which is absolutely impossible for us to do so. Thus, for example, uh, in the times of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we find that an old man Uh, was was uh, had had resolved to go to Hajj uh, while on foot uh, because he thought that if a certain wish would be fulfilled he would do this. So when the Prophet came to know about it and he saw that a person was walking uh, by by actually uh, taking the help of his uh, two sons and while while resting on his shoulders he was walking towards the Baytullah. The Prophet uh, said that well, this is this is not the correct way. He should go to the Baytullah while uh, on a conveyance, on a camel, or on a horse. But uh, uh, doing this in, in this manner by putting him, him, you know, you know, his own self in such a difficult scenario is not at all called for. So we need to understand that vows in the first place, they are not encouraged. However, uh, if a person does make this vow, then this should not entail any disobedience of the Almighty, nor should it be something which puts that person into a very exacting situation. اکولو کو لہٰذا وسطخر اللہ علی ولکم ولسائر المسلمین والمسلمات